Today, we reach the most northern point in our journey. We explore the Priest River by sup and squeeze under a low bridge. Then we'll tour you around our campground and give you a recreation.gov pro tip we wish we had known. We're Kristen, Jameson, and Maddie. This year we're living off-grid in our motorhome full-time, adventuring up the U.S. from the Mexican to Canadian border. So it's kind of hard to believe, but... We made it to Bonner's Ferry. This has been our end destination since we left Mexico and Yuma, Arizona earlier this year. Yep. And we took the 93 North. all the way you can. Yep. We're at the tippity top. Yeah, the very top. So we don't know what we're going to do next. We were just talking about it. We have <laughs> no clue. So we know we're going to Coeur d'Alene. Yeah, to meet up with some friends. And that's been on my bucket list for a long time. See that town. And then we need to make a plan. So if you have any recommendations. <laughs> Let us know what to do up here. <laughs> Drop it in the comments. Close to the tip. <laughs> As close as you can get right now, I think. Here we go again. Uh, the endless pursuit of blowing up sup boards before going supping. We are at the Priest River Campground. We have site 17 and would highly recommend being in one of the higher numbers so you're on the back side, closer to the river and further from the road noise. These guys are way ahead of me because I've been busy with other things. We've got hammocks set up and we're gonna go hit the river. This is the sweet little launch point at the campground and we are gonna head that way up river and then float back. I had a feeling you guys weren't going to get very far, so I was like, mm. I got far. I hit my goal. Okay. I didn't know he had a goal. I need is a little RV on the hill. There's a rather tough current going up. We are at 2.2. Um, we are 57 minutes in and we've probably got uh, maybe just over three, a third of a mile left. So not that bad of a day, but more than I thought it was gonna be. I thought this was a pretty mellow river. Well, it flows when we get further up. It's fun. How tall do you think this bridge is?
Hello from downtown Priest River. Idaho. Yeah, we're right on the river. In the panhandle. Mm-hmm. This area is known for logging. Look behind us. We've got a mill over there. So when I'm running, I see sawdust everywhere. <laughs> and we're sharing the road with the logging trucks quite a bit, mm -hmm. which is okay in the Jeep, but uh, it's a little tight on these narrow roads with the bus. Yeah, being a pedestrian running on the roads here is a little bit nerve wracking, but what can you do? It's our last day here in Priest River. Luckily, we're on vacation. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take a little tour of downtown and do some laundry and Normal errands. Things. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll hit the road. We're heading to Coeur d'Alene after this and we'll just uh, show you around our campsite and the little town of Priest River. Mm -hmm. Afternoon, I guess. <laughs> We're at the Priest River Park. It's an Army Corps of Engineer Park in Priest River, Idaho. And it's got a public recreation area sort of attached to it. So the campground is behind this uh, swimming area that you see behind me. And it's really easy to just take a quick stroll through the campground to get to the beach and the swimming area. It seems to be pretty popular for day use as well but um, you have easy access from the campground, which is pretty sweet. Uh, the spots are, I think, probably smaller than what recreation.gov is saying they are. Ours was a 45 foot spot on recreation.gov and we only fit by having to remove one of the posts uh, that was in the middle of the parking area. And I think that even like 45 feet probably wouldn't have fit. We're, we're technically a 40 foot and we're slightly longer if you measure us. Um, so we just barely fit in there and didn't really have room to, to fit the Jeep. So I would say if you're coming here and you're, you have to book it on recreation.gov, it's all reservable. Um, I would just maybe overestimate on the, the size. So if you have a 35 foot rig, maybe book one of the 45 foot spots and then you should be fine. Um, we found that with other spots on recreation.gov as well that especially when it's forested, uh, it just feels like maybe they over exaggerate what size could fit in the spot. We were not the only rig that was hanging out of its spot a little bit. So I think most of them are just not properly sized online and you have to book online so you can't like pick the right one when you get here. So just a pro tip if you're booking on recreation.gov for this or any site. Um, and we are just packing up to get out of here. We're heading down to Coeur d'Alene and just thought we'd give you a quick tour of the park in case you plan to camp here.